Hey guys, welcome back. So this is another Project 996 video. I'm really excited about this one today. Steve and I are gonna be hard at work in the garage. Um, we're gonna be doing a couple of initial jobs as we continue to learn about this car. So uh, let's go check it out. Ah, there's Steve! <laughs> So as this project really kicks into gear, I wanna give out a couple of shout outs. First off, Darren Fister at FD Motorsports. I had the Fister mufflers on my 997 and I love them. Michael Bath, hashtag Michael Bath style, he's got them on his car. And they're a really popular modification to the 996, the 997 generations. And I think you can also put them on pretty much any Porsche. It's a modification to the muffler. They sound fantastic. So big shout out to FD Motorsports. We're gonna be putting those on this. Um, also, a big shout out to Sarah over at LA Dismantler. We are gonna need a whole amount of parts for this car, and uh, we've been in contact with Sarah. Sarah's been in the business for over 20 years. Um, her and her late husband uh, own, operate LA Dismantler. Uh, pretty much anybody in the building world of Porsche will know them. Uh, they have everything. Millions of parts from any generation of Porsche. Go online, check them out, but Sarah's also gonna be helping us out with this project. So big shout out right now to uh, Ellie Dismantler and uh, FD Motorsports. All right, Steve, let's do it. Let's you do good? It. Let's do it. Okay, now I get to use the force. Now. <laughs> Today we're gonna do some uh, some investigation. We're gonna do an oil change today. We're also gonna take the wheels off just so we can see a little better and uh, probably get the exhaust off today. Those are the three main goals. We wanna do an oil change. We wanna drop that oil and run it through a filter to see if we see any metal shavings. I don't think we're going to, but because we have a disconnect between the transmission and the motor, we're just uh, gonna be extra careful. So that's our plan for the day. Hey everyone, um, got the wheels off and just inspecting the brakes a little bit. It looks like the um, the rotors here are in fairly decent condition. You'll you know you guys know that these things rust over at by sitting a day, so I'm not concerned about that. There's a little bit of lip here, but uh, if I mic these, I'm guessing they're going to be in uh, in spec. Um, I've done those on my car and. Uh, a little bit of a lip on the outside edge isn't that big of a deal. It depends on the thickness from the front to the back um, of the of the 
uh, rotor itself. So those feel pretty good. Um, I'm not sure. So this is a this is a base Carrera, but it's got the red calipers. I don't know if that was an option to get the red calipers on on the base models, um, or if he had these done um, aftermarket or at some point. They don't look like they don't look like it's been touched in quite a quite a long time. So a little curious about that. The the sticker on here is still in pretty good condition so that may lead me to believe that he did paint these and, and put the sticker on but I don't know um, the pads there's plenty of pad on there so that looks good I do have a little bit I don't know if I've got a shock leaking here but I got a little bit of dirt and debris on the on here so I don't know if this is uh and my boot here is disconnected so we may have to take a look at the suspension um, this may need may need to be re replaced because it does look like uh, there has been some leak in there it doesn't look fresh but it looks like it had leaked out so and not knowing how this car drives we'll we'll have to we have to just go by visual cues okay guys so first job of the afternoon we're going to be taking off the rear bumper and then we're going to be taking off the mufflers and then we're going to be sending those bad boys over to california where uh, FD Motorsports are gonna return some fist and mufflers. So we're gonna do that. Pat has brought his heavy duty cutting gear in case we need to cut any of the bolts. Um, I'm gonna stay well away from that part of the job, unless I can use my knife. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so to remove the rear bumper, we're gonna take out the tail lights first on either side. And then we've got a couple of screws along the top here. We'll have some screws on the inside of edge of the wheel well, and then there'll be screws running all the way along the back, probably four in the middle and two on either side. Uh, and then it should just come off. Let's get it done. So here is the back end of a 996 without the front bumper. The rear bumper. No, without the rear bumper, <laughs> yeah, good one. So we got the air box, we got the air intake, uh, we got our dipstick, I miss having a dipstick. We got our coolant reservoir. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got our hoses, the engine's just behind here. Throttle body. Throttle body. Here are the bumperettes, which, God, I'd love to get rid of those bumperettes if we could. And then here behind the heat shielding, here are the mufflers. So I guess what we need to do next is take off uh, these guys, pull off the heat shielding, and then we've got direct access to the mufflers. Or we could just try and do it all from underneath, but. No, I think we'll take all this off. If we can take all this off, that's gonna give us access to get to the coil packs. Yeah. So we might as well take everything off and make our job easier sure. doing those coils. Doctor, do you concur? I concur. <laughs> Let's do it. It's 
Steve, we've got a naked car here, so what we got? All right, so we got the rear bumper off. Then what we did is we took the, the, we took the bumper cover off. Then we took the rear bumper off, which uh, had the, the heat shield connected to it, the center heat shield. So we got that off. Then we had just finished taking off the two side heat shields. This is the one off of Patrick's side. And it's connected with five, five bolts along the top. This one was tricky. This one's in the inner inside of the wheel well. So otherwise the rest of them are from the outside of the car. And now we got that off. Now we can see the, ex the entire exhaust system. And you can see how this, the, the, the driver's side bank actually crosses over and comes out the right side muffler. And the left side muffler is for the right side of the car. So right. it kind of crosses in the middle. So that, this is the first time I've seen this. This is pretty cool to see, but. Uh, so these are your cats. These are the catalytic converters. On the side here, we've got our mufflers. Yep. And uh, they look almost identical, actually, to the 997, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. They had the same kind of pattern. I mean, they look slightly smaller, but they're probably, for all intents and purposes, basically the same. Sure, okay. And uh, when we go to Fist and Motorsports, uh, the, the mufflers they're gonna send back is gonna have a bypass pipe here, I think, okay. right? Yep. And that's gonna give us the extra gravelly kind of gotcha. sound. Gotcha, okay, yeah. Yeah, I've never worked on I've never worked on a 911 before, so this is all this is all new to me. I like it. It's exciting. Yeah, right. Yeah. But but then it's interesting because there's loads of knowledge that you've gained from the Boxster. Yeah, there that is translate. A lot. Yeah, yeah, and just working on working on the Boxster lets you know how Porsche does stuff. So you know, I know I'm going to be using triple square triple square sockets. I know I'm going right. to be using Torx sockets and that kind of stuff, and and just understanding that. Uh, they they keep their engineering pretty pretty straightforward yeah. throughout, which is which is pretty cool. And then so underneath, if I can just get a view, this is where we're going to start seeing the headers connected to the body of the engine, yeah, the base of the engine. There. There. Yeah. All right. So, so what's coming off next? Now we're gonna now we're gonna PB blaster the whole all the, all the connections so we can try to get this exhaust off. Are we and are we gonna take the whole thing down or just the mufflers? We'll probably get to taking the mufflers, but I'd have to bring over my uh, O2 sensors removal tool. Oh yeah. Because there are Okay, so we'll just, we'll just take the mufflers off. And so. then we'll, uh, and then I think what we, what we might do is drain the oil. Yeah. And see what the, see what the oil looks like, so. Okay. All right, guys. Keep trucking. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you, being a cameraman is hard work. It is hard work standing around watching these two work. <laughs> we are almost off with the first muffler. Um, unlike my 997, these bolts have all come off pretty much straight away. One broke, but we still managed to get it out of there. Um, we've now just got the long bolts, which uh, hold basically the, the, the main weight of the muffler onto the car, and then the first muffler will be off. Yeah, boys. Yep. 
this one snapped off. Yeah. So. How accomplished are you feeling right now, Steve? Getting that off? That does yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's How about you, good. Pat? Good. Look at the Irish. Got, got those <laughs> bolts off. So the first muffler is off. Now we just have to repeat the whole procedure. And by we, I mean the guys, <laughs> to get the second muffler off. I want to get this. I don't need the wrench. It drips two drips and it's done. <laughs> oh. There it is. Black gold. You guys want to She's put off. it down? Let's set her down. Pull that uh, oh, relief. <laughs> that oil looks like it's seen a few miles. Actually, dark. Nothing. Well, it's not magnetic. If we see anything, we'll see sparklies all over here. We can uh, open up the filter as well, can't we? Yeah. I don't see too much. I don't see anything yet. We'll, f we'll filter it through a coffee filter too, but... So guys, within a couple of hours, we've got the rear bumper off. We've got uh, the two um, mufflers off. What else we got? What else we take off? Oil drained. Well, we drain the oil. So the car is, oh, and all the wheels off, of course. So it's pretty well disassembled. We're now gonna start on the front of the car. We're gonna take out the headlights, which we're either gonna replace or restore. We're gonna take off the front bumper. Uh, at some point, that's gonna need to be painted along with the rest of the car. And, uh, and then we're gonna clean out the condensers and the radiators, or at least inspect them and see, see what's going on there. So this car's almost been, as far as I'm concerned, stripped. <laughs> Let's go, let's keep going. So what are we doing here, Steve? I'm gonna take, I'm trying to get this, this to come out so I can get to a fastener down here. Yep. So there's a couple of, there's a couple torques up here. I'm missing torques here. I'm missing torques here. Well, this actually is going to be one of these pushing. So that one little line needs to come out. Yeah, it's just going to make. We could probably do it without taking it out, but it's going to make it that much easier. And then Pat, how about you taking out a headlight? Taking out a headlight. Old with, oh, with the old. Plug and play. It's singing better days. It has. Ugh. What we got in front there? Cracks that were look like them. sealed with super glue. Yeah. And if yeah, you can see it started to yellow, well. which is very difficult to restore yeah. now. But they're not cracked, at least the lenses aren't cracked. Oh, well, they're cracked. Well, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. But right. the main part, yeah, you're right. I got it. I got it. Nice. Go, Pat, go. Hey, look at that. Nice. Hey, I can't see now. So that was the end of our first proper day working on the project. I mean, we talked about this, we took delivery, um, but you know, we spent a good couple of hours <laughs> taking this thing apart. Yeah. It looks pretty awesome. Um, I've got to say for me, the big surprise of the day was how easily those mufflers came off for you guys. Yes. Cause uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. I was adding value. 
I was, you know, cheering you on and <laughs> having you tools. So the video quality that you guys are going to realize is all James. We provide no assistance in the quality of the video, and you guys aren't watching because Pat and I are pretty. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you definitely add value. Well, you know, thank you. Um, but okay, so let's talk about the plan for the car. I mean, there's still loads of big jobs to do, but we got the wheels off, so we've got access to the to the hubs and the brakes. We can work on those. Uh, we've drained the oil so we can start working on the engine and the tranny. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the bumpers off, we've got access to the exhaust system, to the radiators. I mean, a lot of the, the key parts of the car we've got access to now. So, you know, what are you thinking we tackle next? Um, I, think we, I think we have a discussion about, about what we're going to do mm -hmm. moving forward because there's yeah. other projects that we that we've looked at like some of the suspend the front suspension may have been leaking so do we want to replace that for suspension what do we what should we do as long as we're this far do we do we upgrade the do we upgrade the um uh sway bars to be yeah. your sway bar i mean i don't know i don't know these answers maybe this is where we come into the to our audience question for the audience question to you guys <laughs> is it worth upgrading uh, let's say sway bars on these cars or are the stock sway bars good enough? I mean, so we don't really know all that much about suspension. Um, I'd love to see coilovers around if we can afford it. Yep. Um, yeah. uh, you know, if we're doing the fronts, we might as well do the rears, that type of thing. Um, and then uh, the brakes don't look that bad, but let's uh, go through them and maybe I'll get a micrometer over here and we'll mic the, mic yeah. the rotors. It's a good idea. Um, and then maybe replace that type of stuff. So. Yeah. Stainless steel brake lines, sure. That type That's of stuff. That's a good idea. Yeah. So I guess the first kind of wave of jobs that we're doing are mechanical, yeah, like properly mechanical. Yeah. Um, because we're not going to go straight to the interior. We're not going to go to the body. No. Even though we are lining up, you know, a paint job, and we are thinking about what we're going to do the in the interior. Quite clearly, phase one is all about making sure the bones are good. I guess getting yeah. the mechanics right. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So then the key next is, is to get that trend done. I think you're right. I think get the transmission out. Um, yeah, get the transmission out. And let's get that sorted. Um, and we got a new transmission coming, or new used yeah. transmission coming, courtesy of Sarah at uh, LA Dismantlers. And thank goodness for uh, LA <laughs> Dismantlers. That's, yeah. that's amazing. I mean, millions of parts. Yeah. All of those cars. Yeah. I mean, we probably won't need to go anywhere else for parts. I mean, yeah, yeah right. quite possibly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really um, that's really cool. Apart from I maybe, love. I love the fact that there's a place like that for, for us. Yeah. You know, let's face it. Everybody that has a 996, a 986, a 951, you know, these older Porsches, well, they're a labor of love. Yeah. And it's nice to have a place where we can get, where we can call up and, and they have, they quite possibly have exactly the part we're looking for. Yeah. And they can get it out to us quickly. Yeah. That, that's such a huge resource. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll get the mufflers off to uh, Darren Fister. Yes. Um, and then for the time being, I guess we'll just figure out how to store all of this so that the wife doesn't kill me and I can get a Highlander in and out. I, I don't see the problem. I don't mind if it just sits right here, but I don't have a best <laughs> <interest. laughs> Well, guys, that's it for uh, another 996 project video. Uh, this video has been brought to you by Auto Amateur, by Pat and Steve, myself here, LA Dismantlers, and FD Motorsports. We're going to be making another one real soon. There'll be podcasts to follow. Check out autoamateur.com and auto.amateur at Instagram. Confusing. <laughs> auto Amateur was taken. And uh, you can keep track of the progress, so the day to day. There'll be lots of behind the scenes kind of photos. We're going to be doing some Instagram live to just talk with each other and plan. Uh, but another video coming soon. Thanks for watching. Keep the comments coming. Pat, Steve, good job. Thank you. Good job.